What up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kristen and I'm glad you're watching another video. And if you're new to my channel, then what up? Subscribe if you're into fun videos and stuff. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I do with shitty ass tasting watermelon because I got this the other day at Trader Joe's and I was super stoked on it and they're like, it's so good, it's the perfect texture, it's so sweet and juicy. And like, it's juicy, but the other things not so much. Like the texture is so like mealy and just like mushy and not good in your mouth and it's not the sweetest. So I didn't want to waste it. So I thought I would try blending it up and making like a juice out of it. So I did this a couple days ago. It worked really well. I it's like my new favorite summer thing. So I thought I'd just make a video really quick showing you guys what I did because you're probably gonna end up getting some like shitty ass watermelons this summer. And instead of wasting them, you can make like the most delicious, easy, versatile, what's the other word I'm thinking about using? Um, customizable juice beverage that you can make a million different ways. You can add like alcohol to it, whatever. So pretty much it's so easy, you guys. Like I was like, should I even make a video? But I wish I would have seen a video like this because I've like wasted watermelon before because I was like, what in the shit do you do with like mealy ass watermelon? Solution, so easy. You need like a watermelon and a blender and possibly a strainer. So all I did and all you should do if you want to do this too, is take your lid off of a blender. I don't know why I put that way over there. I also don't really need my phone back here, so. <laughs> so all I pretty much do is take like a big scooping spoon, take my watermelon. This is like a big giant one. It's seedless. I think you can put the black seeds in there too. You don't have to like remove the seeds because those are totally edible. Most people just choose not to eat them. So just scoop it out and pop it into your blender and then you're just pretty much gonna blend it up. And then you can strain it if you want. If you don't want it strained, then you, it'll be like kind of like pulpy and a little bit like thick like thick and a little bit weird. So if you're gonna have it right away, it might be chill if you do it that way. But I strained it and it was so good, so much better. So you can use one of those small little mini watermelons. You can use one of these half a big ones, whatever you want. So you're scooping the flesh out and putting it into your blender. I have a Vitamix, so it's a high speed blender, but watermelon is so soft and juicy that you shouldn't need to have like a super high speed blender for this to work. I did have to do it in batches though because it blends down quite a bit when you blend it up. So yeah, pretty stoked on this summer drink because oh, so good. Okay, so there's like my first little bit and it's, I have the like white seeds in there because those are totally chill to eat. Um, and again, if you want to keep the black seeds in there, you can. So I put as much as I can, I'll add the rest in a second and you pretty much just Put your lid on and blend it up for like 30 seconds until it's blended. So let's turn on a little Pretty Ricky. We named our blender Pretty Ricky. I don't know. I, this is so hard backwards. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh my God, this is so hard backwards. Okay, so another thing that really helped, if you have a Vitamix and you have this like tamper thing, whatever it is, um, this inappropriate cooking utensil, then this really helps too. So you can kind of move everything around. If you don't, you might just have to like stop your blender, stir it around a little bit, or you might even have to add a little bit of like water or lime juice. Lime juice would be so good in this. So I just am gonna use my little thing. Okay, so now that that worked, I'm just gonna put this little thing back on and blend it up so it can get nice and smooth. Alrighty, so like about 30 seconds. Enough time for like a little mini dance break if you want one. So now we're just gonna scoop the rest of the watermelon out of here and add it to our blender. And this like last time that I made this, I used the other half of this watermelon and it was like perfect amount. So I didn't have to use like a, I didn't have to empty this and then re-blend again. Everything fit in there perfectly. So depending on the size of the blender you're using, you might have to do this in like a couple batches, but y'all, this is so easy. And now you'll never waste a watermelon again. I mean, once they start cracking off, they're usually pretty good. But like at the beginning of summer, you know, sometimes they're questionable and it's not even technically summer yet. <laughs> It's still the beginning of June, so 
I don't know. I trusted the guy at Trader Joe's when he's like, they're so good. And they're just like, not that good. The top layer was good. And then once you got into the actual like juice of it, the, ch the chunk of it, yeah, the meat of it, it was like not, it was like mushy. So solution, you guys, we booked our tickets today to go to Bali for our honeymoon. And I'm so excited. I'm like gonna shit my pants. I've never been to Bali. If you've been to Bali and you have recommendations of where we should go, like let me know because oh my God, I'm so excited. We already kind of know where we're going and staying and stuff, but if you have any recommendations, hit me up. And yes, I will be vlogging in Bali because you can't not vlog in Bali. It's like a vegan heaven, gorgeous beaches. Oh man, I'm so excited. Okay, so that's pretty much scraped out. You'll probably have some juice in the bottom here. So just like, don't waste that. Pour that on in. And then we just chop this up and put this in our compost bin. So I would recommend doing the same. I think I have like watermelon juice all over my face. Very attractive look. Okay, now the rest of that is in there. You shouldn't need your little tamper thing again. Should be good to go. So I'm gonna blend it up again for like another 30 seconds. Oh shit, I totally forgot. So last time I didn't add this because I forgot we had it, but I'm add it, adding it this time. We have some extra mint in the fridge that like half of it's gone bad, but for some reason it's lasting for a while. I got this like two weeks ago. It's like totally still good to go. So I'm gonna add some fresh mint leaves to this because doesn't that sound amazing? You could add basil, you could add lime juice, we made watermelon margaritas the other day and just blended up the watermelon just like this and then added, yeah, into a glass, lime juice and tequila and this watermelon because it's sweet so you don't need to add any sugar because we were look looking for a recipe where we wouldn't have to use like simple syrup or agave or anything in our margaritas because it's not my favorite. It doesn't make my tummy feel the best. So it's just like naturally sweet and booze drink if you want. So I'm gonna add like, I don't know. I don't have a ton of mint. Ideally, I'd add like a quarter cup of mint or something like that. Who knows if this will even be flavorful enough because the rest of that mint is not the best. Um, so I'm gonna blend it up with the mint now because that just sounds good to me. Okay, that should be good. It doesn't, you like literally don't have to blend it up for very long because it's like really soft anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna set this over here, compost that compost that in a minute and now next step I was like what the shit am I doing okay so you could just totally like good to go look how much it makes like a whole blender full so you could totally like use this if you'd like but if you want it like silky smooth you should strain it so that's what I'm gonna do I have like a nut milk bag I'll put a link to the one that I use or have used I don't know which one this is I don't know but a nut milk bag, cheesecloth, you can even use like an old t-shirt if you don't mind staining it pinkish. Anything that has like really small holes will totally work. Even like a fine mesh strainer will work a little bit, but something like really fine mesh is what you're looking for. And you essentially just pour the whole thing in here. And you don't, when you strain it, it's not gonna be like you're straining, you know, almond milk. You're not gonna have that much like pulp left over but it does make a difference in the texture. So this bag is so fine that I like, you have to squeeze the juice out. Do it slowly or else you will spray everywhere. So just squeeze your juice on out of there. Look how much this makes you guys. Like I have been loving having this on hand and just like keeping it in the fridge in like a little jar and then just grabbing some whenever I want some. So once it starts, like foam starts to go in there, that's kind of when I stop. Let me like rinse my hands off for a second. <laughs> okay. That's a shit ton, you guys, like eight cups. So that is my finished product. Again, you can use use it however you'd like. I'm gonna just pour it into a couple little mason jars, Kerr jars, I should call them Kerr jars since my last name is Kerr, and use them however you wanna use them. I Like I said, I like it over ice just or just straight out of the jar. I like using one of these little pourable things, so makes it easier it's a lot prettier just like bright vibrant pink color if you don't add the mint so if you don't if you want it like really really beautiful for cocktail or something like that then you might not want to add the mint there's one jar and another so yeah i am just gonna put the lids on these and pop them in the fridge and then sip on them as as i desire and i'm probably gonna put some gin in some and put some salt on the rim and have like a gin watermelon drink i don't know so I didn't get two lids for some reason, but yeah, look at that. Like, look at that. Like so beautiful, so delicious. Let's try it. Okay, let's try it out of this one because it's not as full. I'm so excited to try it with the mint. 
Oh shit. Oh shit, bitch. What? Oh my god, that is so good. Mm. Oh yeah, if you have mint, add mint if you like mint. Mm. So that's what I do with a shitty ass watermelon. It's like my favorite new thing. So you can add anything, lemon, lime, mint, basil. I just wanted to share this with you guys because this is my new favorite summer thing. Like I'm so excited about this. And I thought some of you guys might be too. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a little comment down below if you'd like. And make sure to hit that little subscribe button if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll just catch you in my next video. Peace out you guys. Bye.